Hi, I'm Maurice Martin from the Cooperative Research Network. Today we're talking about enterprise service buses, or ESBs. ESBs may be a solution to a problem that a lot of co-ops face. How do I get all the systems within my utility talking to each other? Geographic information system, outage management system, customer information system. There's a lot of value to be had if I can get these systems talking to each other and sharing data. But easier said than done. Likely, each of these comes from a different vendor, uses a different data structure, a lot of challenges there. I can write custom code to pull all these together, but that's going to take time, and each time I change one of the elements of this system, the whole system has to be reworked. Also, cybersecurity. How do I know I haven't introduced vulnerabilities at each of those spots? Enterprise service buses are a different approach. With an enterprise service bus, you've got a single piece of software that, whose sole job is to manage all the interconnections from the, from the other systems. Each time you add a system or change a system, you just re make sure that this connection is working and you're good to go. You're much closer to a plug and play situation. Cybersecurity is better because you've got one piece of software that has been rigorously tested and developed for, with cybersecurity in mind. You've got long-term viability and you've got scalability. Adding new features, adding new systems, not a problem. So why aren't all, all co-ops using enterprise service buses? Well, cost is an issue. Right now, proprietary systems for, of ESBs can cost anywhere up to or over $50,000 per processor. There are open source ESBs, but you're gonna spend a lot of man hours getting those to work the way you want them to. However, the overall trend in software is for prices to go down and for the software to become easier to use. And we're hoping that's true of ESBs as well. For that reason, we're keeping a close eye on this technology. Co-op employees can learn more by going to the Cooperative Research Network's website at cooperative.com forward slash CRM. We've got a new article out there on enterprise service buses, and it really lays out the potential for this technology. I'm Maurice Martin for the Cooperative Research Network.